We have a quick project here. This is a bandsaw, and it comes at has a fairly weak base, and although it is level, it still rocks a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to make leveling legs that go in the holes that are already there that were used for transit. So what I'm going to do is take this nut and I'm going to use it as a leg. This will contact the contract concrete and I'll put a nut on the bottom side of the base and I'll tack weld it in so that I screw this in it'll jack it up and then this bolt this nut will be used as a jam nut on the top. This will allow me to adjust it up and down. Now these are too long so I got to cut them off. Uh, it's the only bolts they had that were threaded all the way up and I needed it threaded all the way up because I want to have as little space between here as possible and I'll show you why. This corner here has to open. You gotta open this up in order to change this belt to do wood cutting. So if I have this bolt sticking up through that hole, I'm not gonna be able to open up this door. So the only way I'm gonna be able to open this door is if I unscrew this thing to allow that door to open. Now this bolt is too long as you can see. We're gonna cut them all off so we only got about an inch sticking up. So I'll do that now. Cutting bolts off to the right length is fairly easy. I've already cut this one. So what I do is I mark the threads, the V. So right there. And I know that the cutoff wheel is gonna fit right there. And that'll give me the same length, and I always mark a pattern. So I use the same bolt to measure from. Now, with a sharp, sharp edge on there like that, the bolt won't go on. So we gotta put a chamfer on there. So do they go on? Really nice. Really nice. Really nice. Okay, really nice. Next step, make the holes in the base a little larger. So here's the beginnings of my fancy dancy leg. You gotta remember this is just to get the final level. This, I have taken the time to grind these legs so that they're flat on the floor. And there's just a tiny, tiny bit of wobble left. And all I'm gonna do is use these things to tighten up that wobble so it completely goes away. I'm gonna weld one nut up inside here. I have a jam nut here and a bolt. I've got it centered in the hole and the two nuts tight. We'll tack it in place and then we'll show how it works. That long one was a long reach. That's why it was barking like that. But I've got each side 
I'm going to let this cool a little bit because the paint's puckered a little bit. I'll try to keep it in place. This base wasn't really prepped very well. There's rust underneath it because I can peel. I peeled some of the paint off here, so they didn't prep this very well. I'm gonna have to come back and touch it up. This is what it looks like underneath that fresh coat of paint. Nothing but rust. So this is how this is going to work. I have a nut welded to the underside of this thing. So when this thing sits on it, it's going to push up on the nut. So all that weld has to do is hold the nut in place. Then this thing is, will screw down and I can put a wrench on the top and we'll screw down until it just touches the floor to take any wobble out. Not supporting the weight, just taking the wobble out. This will support the weight. And then this nut tightens down, like so. This nut tightens down and becomes a jam nut that jams the bolt in between the metal. This height won't change and it should work real nice. Let's get the front ones installed. I'm not gonna move the saw around with the legs extended because they extend down a long way. Only screw it down once the saw is in place. So let's go do that. These legs are going to work out very nicely. I've played with them quite a bit. It's amazing how touchy they can be. But I think I've got it to a point where it's pretty darn, I mean, it's pretty solid from all directions. Uh, the only way to get it more solid, I would think, would be to anchor to the floor. And I'm just reluctant to drill holes in my brand new concrete floor. So we're gonna try it like this, see how it goes. This may be good enough. This allows me to pull it out if I need to pull it out for some reason, but I think it's gonna be good enough. Thanks for watching.